Hello everyone. On this video we will talk about on how to use the date picker correctly in Helix dashboards. The typical questions that we get regarding the date picker is why is the date picker not working for me? How should I configure the date picker? Let's jump into a demo to get the answers. Okay, how to use the date picker effectively? Let's create a new panel. And let's create an example by searching uh, in service, service management and SQL. Let's bring up a uh, example query, which has the incident number, incident status, the submit date, and the close date for help, HPD help desk. Okay. If we're going to look at the data here, We'll be able to see it, but here you have the date picker. Picker. If you select anything, let's say for the last, for the previous year or the last five minutes where there is no data for, you're gonna see, you're gonna see no change. So in order for the query to take effect, we need to make reference to this date picker. And we need to, to add something, some label into the query itself in order for it to work. Okay, so I'm going to show you how. Here you're going to put the word statement. And this is what we are going to need in order to make reference to the date picker. Okay. As long as we put this in this format, it's gonna take it. It's gonna take effect. Now let's see as an example. We have the five minutes, and there's no data for the five minutes now. But let's say if we put it through last year, now it's gonna take effect. And that is how easy we configure the date picker to work. So there is an alternative method. Uh, in this case, we're going to use uh, variables in order to use the date picker differently. So we're going to create three variables. Okay, I'm going to use it as example. The first one is going to be date info. We're going to do that as a name, as a label, and the description as well. Uh, the type is going to be date range. Okay, and that's it for this variable. Now, let's create the second one. And for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to create the name as date from. It's going to be a query. The date field, the date, the label, it's going to be date from as well. And we're going to use it as variable. And this is the query that we are going to use. Okay. This is for the date from only. And we're going to create it. And we're going to go back to variables. And we're going to create the last variable, which is going to be date two. It's also a query. Label date two. It's a variable. And let's put query. Okay, and we're gonna have, we have the query here. And we're going to save it. One thing we didn't do on the other one is we're going to set the refresh on time range change. Okay, we're going to go back to the other one, date from and on time range change. Okay, now that we have the three variables, we're going to use them in the report. Okay, also we can um, disable the date picker, this one, because we're going to use the other one. Let's go to settings and go to general and high time picker. 
going to disable it and we're going to go back to the panel okay once we do that we're going to use this specific query as well and but the where is going to be quite different from a single similar one so on the query on the where we're going to put the field and we're going to use the date from variable and the date to we're going to put the day a single quote in order for it to be to appear up here once we use it like this it's going to make reference to it and we're going to be able to select the data and select the date that we want from be from one year to November the 30 or whatever you guys want doesn't matter this is just an example and it's gonna update this is all that I have for you today thank you for watching don't forget to visit our community channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you